Hello YouTube, today I'm going to show you how to fix this problem that is not recognized as internal or external command on Windows on Windows operating system. It might be Windows 10, Windows 11, but anytime I try to type the, the two command, like for example, IP config, I get this, IP config is not recognized. Also if I, let's say, I type net start, this command should run, but it's not recognized on this system. So the first thing that we have to do is that we have to, to go to our environment variable on our system and you can either search or you can locate it by um, going through the the following steps so uh, you go to system system here and then when your system you create you click on the about and then about this system you go to uh, advanced system settings and then you're here environment variable okay or the easiest way is just by uh, by typing environmental it just come here so you can edit environment variable and then you're here and here you have um, environment variables and you have user variable for this user and then you have the system variables and uh, what you have to do we have to add this uh, user variable because here you see users and then this name and then we have the we need to be able to add this so that the system can recognize this user so what I'm going to do uh, there's two ways of doing this uh, you can just type like for example if you see here I have this Java home I I have added this Java home where I installed this Java on my operating system which is C program file and then here I can show you but still you can just if you go to C program then you can see I've installed this and then I create a name I put a name that I, I can remember or any name you can put here and then once you have this name you can just add it to the path so you, you, you add the user variable name here and then you point where it's installed on your system and then you come down here you locate now you add to the system variable which is on this path so we have to go back in there so if you come back to the path we can edit and for some reason you see this it's not activated even when even when I I scroll down and click path still it's not activated so we have to do just go back again and you can see here we have edit environment variable and then we have the edit the system variable so you have to uh, search for this one okay and then once we're here you notice the system properties and then advance you create environment variable so you can see it's activated so we go to the as explained here we go back here to the path and then we edit on this path now we add the the, the what the the, the 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 echo you see we just have java home and then slash bean so this is like you are calling it you just you create an echo for that name that you give, you've given to the um, to the user variable here, which is this one, which exactly is going to point on this, and then slash bin, like here slash bin. So you use the bin here, and uh, this is the correct way of how to do it. So you put the bin here, first slash then bin, and then you should, you should be able to call that. Okay, for here now, why we are not able to reach here? It's because something is missing here on this path. So we can add this directly. So I showed you that there is two ways you can do this by adding on the user variable, and then you and then then you send it here to the path. So what we do, we have to add this. Um, the window that's two is missing here so what we do we um we go to the to the operating system let's say we go uh, we click here and then we go to this pc and then c and then you scroll down here and then you have this windows and then windows you go to system 32 and then we copy this part here just copy and once you copy this uh, you come here this uh, no you just click on the path and then edit and so once you edit you say new and then you paste this here then okay and then okay and then okay and then you close this one and then you close this one so and then you start again cmd and then let's try again ip config and you see now it's going it's, it's, it's going through and then if you want to type another command let next start and you can see it shows all this outcome because i've fixed the problem so what you have to do you just go to the environment variable and then you, you edit this you go to the path scroll down here you see the path and then edit and then once you edit you uh, you, you just add new and then you point to this c windows and system 32 and then you're there and uh, let's assume if we remove this again and then we try again let's see uh, we need to accept everything so that it reflect to the changes and then we go back again here and then we try to ip config okay now we have the same problem that is not recognized as internal extent but surprisingly when we type this and then we plan as admin and then we try to run it again ip config and then we get the result so this is completely pointing to the different this doesn't it doesn't point exactly to this but this is for the system uh, this windows system has its own path compared to this so uh, if this one is not working for you if you right click it might work for you so but if you want to fix this then you do exactly uh, what we did thank you guys and remember subscribe and like bye bye